Hi, it's Michael from Men's Finest. Many people ask me whether I've got any self-tied bow ties. Yes, I have. This is one of the examples. This is the velvet, uh, very nice um, European velvet, uh, super soft, super shiny, not for every occasion, but there are some time uh, and place for these kind of velvets and these kind of bow ties. So I'm going to show you right now how to tie one of those. It's not easy, probably you have to practice with a winner. I've got a mirror there as well if I have to look uh, over there if I need to. Um, but you're going to start with that. This is the sort of length uh, that I prefer. Um, you know, your neck's going to be uh, bigger or smaller depending on where you are. Uh, but all you have to do is grab those two ends and go across. So basically you want to make sure it sits nicely on the collar and you just want to do a simple knot. Nothing complicated, a simple knot like that will do. Now, what happens to it? Well, I usually create a bit of a bit of a bow like this here with one of the one of the sides. So you can see um it's it's kind of look like a bow tie. So you grab one of those fishies and you create a kind of a bow tie. Then the other part, the other dangling bit of a bow tie, you just go across here. And you grab the first part and the dangling part is still here. So I've got the first part grabbing uh, the sort of the other part there. Now you can't see it very well from there, but that has created a little bit of a hole and a loop here. We're going to use that now. So I've got this grab, the, the first one, the second bit is dangling there. So I need to find that hole and I'm going to push through that hole the other bit, so the material that's left on the other side. Now, what that what that, what's happened right now is we actually tie in the knot. That's exactly what we're doing. We tie in a bow tie. So what is happening? We've got this scenario. I mean, look, it's already start to look like a bow tie. We didn't even do any adjustments yet, but that's already start looking like we have achieved something, right? So there is a bit of a uh, there is a bit of a tie it's it's thick because velvet is a thick material uh, so you have to sort of work with it a bit um, but it's wobbly that's how it's supposed to look because it's a self tie bow tie so you let it um, sort of look a bit wonky wonky is fine pop the collar down adjust and you know what you are probably ready to go now doesn't look too shabby, does it? If you think that you can go anywhere without a pocket square, you are wrong. What I would recommend, if it's a, some sort of formal event that you've just tied your first or hundredth time bow tie in your life, you can probably grab one of those, which is a silk um, pocket square, hand finished, hand stitched uh, from, from Ben's Finest. What you can do, it's it's a it's a kind of a big one. It's around sort of 40 by 40 centimeters. Um, you can do a lot with it. I mean, you can do, you can just um, you know leave it like that, sort of, sort of there, or you can you can start to think about some sort of um, um, more flamboyant um, folds. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got some sort of puff maybe going on. Whatever the jazz is, whatever you think you want to have, put it like you want it. There is not a fast and hard rules how to put pocket square in your, your pocket of your jacket. So go with it, put one in there, and if you're happy, you're ready to go. Hope that was useful. If you click on the links around, either below or around me somewhere, you're going to go to um, that product where you can buy uh, that bow tie and that pocket square. Hope you enjoyed it.